Hello student, welcome to today's session. Today we shall be discussing one important question sent by somebody on the topic of trimerization of a compound. I find this question to be very very interesting and important. Here organic and inorganic got mixed together. So if you have a good hold on both the things you are able to answer it. Which of the following compounds may undergo trimerization in a given set of reaction conditions? So the three compounds are given formaldehyde, SO3 and metaphosphoric acid. So organic got mixed with inorganic. So formaldehyde undergoes trimerization like this way. So if you could simply would place without taking into consideration the mechanism, this is formaldehyde. So this bond goes here, this goes here, this goes here. So you shall be getting a compound which we call it as trioxane. This is a very important compound where it underwent trimerization. So if you want to go and this particular compound is used as a binder in uh, industrial purposes. So if you want to go from the mechanistic viewpoint, it is again very easy from in the slight acidic medium, this first gets attacked by H positive and then this bond goes here, there is a carbocation formation, another mole lone pair would attack it, then the same process would happen and you would get a positive charge here on this part. Now this lone pair would attack here and one would come from this side. So you may take it like this also that you can simply say it like this, the lone pair attacks here and this would go here and this H positive loses out. So ultimately you end up getting the same compound that is what you call it as trioxane. So another thing uh, which is in SO3 simply if you heat uh, this SO3 would undergo trimerization to give you this sort of a compound simply because of the fact that it can undergo a sort of a trimerization like this. This is also very popular so you end up getting this compound. Same is the viewpoint for metaphosphoric acid. Metaphosphoric acid also on heating may undergo trimerization because of the cyclic transition state which is giving you a six member ring. So this is HPO3 thrice. So I find this question very interesting because the th two things organic and inorganic got mixed and there is a bit of polymerization happening from the inorganic and organic point of view. So obviously answer to this question has to be the D option because all of the three underwent primerization so answer to this question should be d option thanks a lot have a nice day stay safe and take good care of yourself